Steric acid is a unique saturated fatty acid that can help to improve your energy, reduce inflammation, and positively modulate your hormones. And this is exactly what I'm going to discuss with you in this video, exactly eight benefits of steric acid. Now, steric acid, as I mentioned, is a saturated fatty acid with 18 carbons. It's mostly found in animal foods, and it has a variety of different benefits that I want to show you guys, specifically energy production and hormone modulation. Before we dive in, if you have not already, be sure to get my ebook on how to maximize your testosterone naturally. Links in the description. If you would like to do coaching, links also in the description. Let's dive in. So eight awesome benefits of steric acid. As you can see, here's the structure. It's 18 carbon long saturated fatty acid. Number one benefit is that it fuses mitochondria. So you might have heard about mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell that creates energy. So this is usually how fission and fusion works. So you have the mitochondria and a part of the mitochondria becomes damaged. So the cell that damaged parts becomes cleaved off, right? This is damaged, it becomes cleaved off. So now you have a smaller mitochondria and the damaged part. So the damaged part is cleared, broken down and cleaned from the body. Now you have this small mitochondria. Now the small mitochondria fuses with another small mitochondria, making a big mitochondria. So big mitochondria are good because they produce much more energy than smaller mitochondria. So this is where steric acid helps the mitochondria to fuse together and this dramatically enhances ATP production and then reduces reactive oxygen species production. So it puts you in a more energized, better, less inflammatory state. And this is a study that they did in humans. And so they had these guys eat their normal diet. This was before the study. Then they had them eat a low steric acid diet for two days. And then after those two days, they gave one group steric acid. And then they tasted, they tasted the mitochondria three hours and six hours after drinking to look at what is happening to their mitochondria. So the shake that they gave these people with a steric acid was a banana milkshake containing 24 grams of steric acid, which is roughly the equivalent of the amount of steric acid present in 200 grams of milk chocolate, which is like, yeah, of course, everyone eats 200 grams of milk chocolate on a daily basis. So I do think that 24 grams of steric acid is on the higher end that people typically consume via the diet. Now, if you really want to supercharge this, you can put the steric acid into the tester shake. Now, you can get the recipe for the Tesla shake. The link is in the description to the Tesla launch course. So you can get the free start. This is where you get the recipe for the Tesla shake, which is made to maximize your testosterone. And in that shake, you just add 25 grams of steric acid for much more benefits than the shake that they used. All right, so here's what happened. Fragmented mitochondria dropped significantly from 50 to 25%. And fused mitochondria increased significantly from 7 to 27%. That's a big increase. And what I really like about the study is that they had healthy individuals and they had individuals with type 2 diabetes. And they showed that it does not only work for people with that's healthy, but especially for those that are unhealthy with type 2 diabetes. So people with type 2 diabetes, they have more oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. And you can see that the amount of fusion going on was almost more in the diabetic group and then in the normal group. So as you can see like this dark green, this is the fused mitochondria at baseline. Three hours later, it's almost like a tripling of fused mitochondria. And then it slightly decreases again by six hours. You should still be able to get the benefits after nine hours. But basically what this shows is that having steric acid every six to eight hours should keep that fused mitochondria level really high. Now, to get the amount of calories, like 24 grams of steric acid gives you 216 calories. Now, you can get the same amount from 73 grams of cacao butter, but that would be 654 calories. Or you can get it from 126 grams of tallow, but that would be 1,136 calories. Or you can get that same amount of steric acid from 20, 240 grams of butter, but that would be 2,160 calories. So ideally, if you want to stay lean and not blow up in weight, you could just sub simply supplement steric acid di directly because that would limit calorie intake as well. Now I want to talk to you about the other seven benefits of steric acid. And I love this. 
First, steric acid increases DHT. In this study, they had cells with 5-alpha reductase that added gamma-linolenic acid, which is an omega-6 fatty acid. And you can see how it inhibited 5-alpha DHT, significantly lowered 5-alpha DHT. Steric acid, on the other hand, increased DHT when they added steric acid to the cells and androstene dion. So it shows that it increased sterogenesis and increased DHT. Steric acid lowers sexual binding globulin. You can see the olic to steric acid ratio. Like the more olic acid you have to steric acid, the higher your sexual binding globulin will be. There is a study showing that consuming olive oil increases sexual binding globulin. So steric acid, by changing this ratio, will help to lower sexual binding globulin and increase your free testosterone. Steric acid inhibits the estrogen receptor inhibits oleic acid neutral, whereas linoleic acid is estrogenic. So in a previous video, I talked about steric acid versus linoleic acid. So linoleic acid being estrogenic, and you balance that out by having steric acid in the diet. So if you focus on animal foods, that ratio will be balanced. But now you can supplement additional steric acid to help even more to shift that balance more towards androgenic. It reduces visceral fat. So sorry for this yucky photo, but you can see the low fat group actually had the most abdominal fat. The steric acid had the least amount of abdominal fat and then they followed with the corn and safflower groups. So steric acid resulted in the least amount of abdominal fat. As you can see, abdominal fat was the lowest in the steric acid group. And this was the overall body weight. There was no real difference between all of the groups except abdominal fat being significantly lower. Another benefit of steric acid is, is that it's neutral towards cholesterol, actually more beneficial by lowering LDL and oxidized LDL, lowering inflammation. It might even help with fat loss by increasing carnitine, palmitoyl transferase 1, which is the right limited enzyme of transporting fats into the mitochondria to be burned for fuel. It also increases beta oxidation, which is the process where fat is being broken down for energy, and it improves insulin sensitivity. So steric acid has a bunch of benefits, including helping with fat loss. So steric acid is an absolute amazing fatty acid that you can get from food, but you can also supplement it. Now I'm going to link for you guys below a powder that you can buy that you can just add to your tester shake. So be sure to get the recipe for the tester shake from the tester launch course. The link is in the description. And from the tester shake, you just add the steric acid for additional benefits. And if you're wondering if the steric acid will even dissolve, it doesn't need to dissolve completely because in that study, they didn't dissolve it. They only emulsify it in a shake with milk and banana, right? So as long as you emulsify the steric acid powder into the shake, your body will still absorb it and you will get the benefits from it. You don't have to bake with it or mix it with your food or something like that. That might give it a little bit of a funky taste, right? So you can just mix it with a tester shake, or you can just simply take a tablespoon or two and throw it in your mouth and swallow it down with a tester shake. That's also another option that you can do. So, all right, guys, if you have tried a bunch of steric acid in the past, please let me know in the comments below what your experience was like with using steric acid. And I'm also about to start an experiment with steric acid at a specific dose, but I'll make another video about that in the future as well. All right, guys, hope you liked this video, learned something new, and I will check you in the next one. Cheers, guys.